On the heels of last month's measles case on Martha's Vineyard, we now have the first measles death in the U.S. in more than a decade. And Dr. Malika Marshall is here with the latest details and yet another plea for vaccination, doctor. Yes, please, please, please get your children vaccinated. This spring, a woman in Washington state died from measles, the first reported measles death in the U.S. since 2003. Now, some reports say the woman did have prior protection against measles, but she was being treated with drugs for another condition which suppressed her immune system, making her vulnerable to infection, even infection she was once immune to. Now, these same drugs kept her from developing the typical measles rash, so the diagnosis wasn't made until autopsy, when the medical examiner found she had measles-related pneumonia. It appears she contracted the disease after being exposed to someone in a healthcare facility, a good reminder of why it's so important for all healthy Americans to get vaccinated. We vaccinate the healthy population. That not only protects the vaccinee, the person who gets vaccinated, but it also protects the people who are around them because a vaccinated person is not going to transmit measles to a person who is susceptible. Susceptible people, like people with organ transplants, patients undergoing chemotherapy, pregnant women who are not immune, and babies and toddlers who are not fully vaccinated or are too young to get vaccinated. Liam, I think people forget how many people out there actually are susceptible and vulnerable to getting this virus. And how contagious is it if someone gets it? So some people say it is one of, if not the most contagious infectious disease out there. In fact, some estimates are that 90% of people once exposed to someone with measles will get sick if they aren't already immune. I can't imagine there are many other infectious diseases that have that rate that high. How are we doing here in Massachusetts in terms of vaccination? So in Massachusetts, we're doing a pretty good job. About 95% of kindergartners do get the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. However, there are still pockets in the state with lower vaccination rates, including places on Martha's Vineyard where we just had a measles case a few weeks ago. And we need that herd immunity. That's why it's so important for everyone to get you it. You got it, herd immunity. Thank you, doctor. Lisa, over to you.